Hi everyone, this is Ramesh Babu. Welcome to my lecture on CCTV, Module 2, Safety and Security Systems of Building Management Systems. Uh, this is a continuation of lecture 1 of CCTV. I suggest you go through the uh, lecture on lecture 1 on CCTV before you watch this. So this is lecture 2. Access Control Integration. Here, I am going to discuss about the access control integration with CCTV. Because if you see access control, access control is a system which detects the person who is entering into the facility either to grant access to him or deny the access to him. But if this system is combined with uh, CCTV, it can be very effective. In the sense, the person who is entering the building can be viewed by the uh, user or the owner. As you can see here, the system can be well integrated uh, by recognizing the person's face and then the system can um, automatically grant access. So, which means the facial image of the user has to be entered. In other words, you can see a controller which will decide whether to grant access to the person or not. So this system happens automatically. If you look at the total access control architecture uh, which we have discussed in the unit 1, here you can see uh, the entire boom barrier controller is connected to the main controller so which is linked with biometric readers in a similar way the system can be linked with the cctv now we go to facility entry control facility entry control is primarily for controlling the movement of vehicles so as you can see an advanced system over here is UVSS which is nothing but under vehicle surveillance system. The under vehicle surveillance system is installed on the floor. The vehicle is allowed to pass through that equipment. As you can see here when the vehicle moves through this particular uh, equipment the under portion of the vehicle is scanned. So once the under vehicle scanner works you can see and get an image of the bottom of the car which can detect any compromise or security compromise because you can see these vehicles are sometimes fitted with unsocial elements which have been used to uh, compromise the security of the building like fixing a bomb or fixing some other devices so the next one is license plate recognition so, which is widely used in toll stations and here the license plate is easily sensed by the uh, equipment in other words the CCTV is going to detect the number for this system to be in proper functioning and place the number plate has to be customized and an uniformity has to be created in the number plate How uh, effective or intelligent is a uh, CCTV? The advent of IP CCTV compared to the analog solution. Coexistence of analog with IP CCTV hybrid solutions. If you see uh, a CCTV system, it is connected to LAN or WAN where the viewing can happen remotely. The system can be recorded continuously as well. So that is called view recording. And now we are going to see video analytics. Mostly CCTV is a reactive measure but now it is becoming a proactive measure which means the intelligence is happening in CCTV. This is called detecting the zone, motion detection. So which means if there is a motion happening, you can see the camera zooming into the particular person so that the face can be read in a better way. This is called a motion detection. 
and next is called as detection which is happening in the perimeter periphery as you can see the camera activates if something is happening like you can see a person entering into the fence and immediately a message is being printed here which is nothing but a security breach the next one is face detection so as you can see the when a person is moving or he is entering into your face and see the face is being detected if the face detector is a stranger then it will alert the system so that is an important tool in granting access in the your building next is motion trace so here you can see once a motion is happening and that is being traced so we saw a vehicle which is traveling here and immediately we see a message which tells that motion so that is to tell that something is moving in a particular area there is improvement in the cctv like wdr which is wide dynamic range environment so wide dynamic range environment when it is switched on we can see the image clarity is improved drastically this is an important thing to get an a correct image or get the clarity of the image next is backlight compensation ehlc which is nothing but uh, you can see the blc is a compensation which is happening so that the brightness of the image has not masked the actual object as you can see in the next uh, image uh, this particular area is being clipped so that you can see the right hand side of the image in a better clarity so this is called as excess lighting compensation next is backlight masking this happens when the background is very bright so because of the background brightness you don't see the clarity of the image which so the background is masked so this is called backlight masking so all these are important things in today's advanced uh, cctv cameras so we do have counting so statistically the number of people entering into the facility can be counted as you can see cctv is counted here 786 people have entered 73 this is also an important tool that can be used in traffic surveys where you need to count the people or vehicle this one is also quite strange behavior analysis so if a person is being seen in a suspicious manner so he will be tracked so in other words it can be anything so here we can see a man is slipping and falling down so that is an uh, uh, important thing which is taken off to account by the cctv for alerting and here you can see a person is moving or wandering here for miss so uh, a person can be a uh, uh, anti social element like a terrorist or somebody who is moving around here and there or somebody is running out to perform an act so these things or behavior analysis crowd management so a crowd management will be able to set a threshold of people or vehicle in that particular area if something is strange happening here like a uh, fight or something is happening you can see sudden crowding of people so which is strange that is being detected so within the set limit if the number of people is more than permissible then the cctv will react same thing in a traffic some accident has happened you can see whole crowding of vehicle or something this is non motion detection so quite common in areas like airport and high security areas where you can see an idle baggage or an idle vehicle which is standing there for days or hours so that can be a bomb or any other threat so that is non motion detection so which means it detects the presence of certain object strange object which is lying there for a quite a number of time next is absence detection quite common in areas like jewelry shops and other shops where the absence has to be detected so 
here you can see for example if you installed it in your museum and if you somebody has taken the artifact then it detects it as a absence this is a scene change detection so this is like as you can see your camera is focusing and somebody is coming and spraying up a foam in it and that came uh, their scene is changed now so that will be alerting system alerts and sends this particular information to the user next is the lens coverage so we have 35x lens 26x and the police has given some recognition criteria for that so this is depending upon the clarity uh, in which the user wants the image so you know that megapixel whatever it is so megapixel is something which is going to design the clarity of the image so we do have uh, till 10 megapixels so this is quite important because sometimes the image comes very uh, poor because of the uh, i mean the resolution is poor in that case you won't be able to detect the intruder or the crime so we need a higher resolution camera for that you look at this image so you see a VGA of 640 by 480 and we do see uh, a resolution for 1.3 megapixel and we see for 2 megapixel then 3.1 then 5 megapixel so you look at the clarity that you see in a very basic image next is the coverage so the VGA is going to decide the coverage so the more wider the VGA the more uh, increased coverage that you're going to get for better clarity you do have panoramic examples and uh, with this i'm just concluding this module on cctv uh, and the advancement in cctv which is more important aspect in building management system